more and more people around the world, including European countries and US counties are told to stay at home as a safety measure to contain the spread of this new illness. It is important to prepare in time. That doesn't mean panic shopping, but being prepared may be the best choice at this point. If you have to stay home for a longer period, it is important to stock your freezer, fridge and pantry to keep yourself and everyone at home fed. What to buy and how much of it, you may ask. Foremost, try to focus on a certain amount of nutritional value, because eating healthy food strengthens your immune system as well. Your dose of vitamin C may depend on having enough veggies and fruits and for protein and zinc you may want to think fish and canned beans. In this video I will cover the most important foods to stockpile to keep you safe while staying inside your home. Make sure to hit the like button, so YouTube shows this video to more people. Also, subscribe and hit the notification bell, so you're the first notified when a new video is released. Let's start with our fridge. First of all, make sure to store some eggs. These can basically be used for every meal of the day. Starting from breakfast scramble, to hard-boiled ones and egg salad, there are many options to choose from. They are one of the greatest source of protein, which strengthen your immune system, raise testosterone levels and build muscle. You should also store some cheese. Cheddar, Parmesan or Swiss cheese will last in the fridge and you can combine cheese with a lot of meals. Cottage cheese and yogurt also last up to a month in the fridge, and we can make tasty breakfasts and even snacks. If you're not a vegetarian you should also store some ham, salami or bacon. These are also good sources of protein. Butter is also important to have because it will be important if you're going to be cooking or baking. Thinking of fruits, some don't last a long time refrigerated, but citrus and apple are good choices to store. If you're taking the canned fruit, you should choose the ones packed in 100% juice or all-natural applesauce. Turning to our freezer, meat, vegetables and fruits are all important. You can store different kinds of meat, maybe some chicken breast, pork, beef and even frozen fish. These are good sources of protein and in the case of the fish, of omega-3 and you can prepare meat in almost unlimited ways. Frozen vegetables are also important for meals rich in plants. There are many options here, starting with spinach, that goes well with your eggs for example to collards, broccoli, peas and carrots. You should also consider making some vegetable rich soups as well. Frozen fruit might also be a great option and if you take out that blender, you can prepare delicious smoothies or prepare fruit salads and maybe some pies. Some people might recommend frozen bread, but I'd rather make that at home. It is easy to make and there are a lot of recipes that you can easily look up for making your own home bread. But don't forget to store some yeast in your fridge if you're making bread at home. Now that the fridge and freezer is filled, let's get to our pantry. The most important ingredients are of course cooking oil, condiments, flour, sugar and salt. Make sure to have these basic ingredients. Also, potatoes are a great choice because there are hundreds of different ways to prepare them, that will also make you feel full. If you're a person who likes cooking, onion and garlic should also be in your pantry, because these add flavor to different meals. You should also stock some canned or dried beans, like black, chicken kidney beans, that are full of fiber and protein. There are tons of recipes for legumes and beans as well. If you're thinking inexpensive, rice could be a great option and you can combine it with the meat you've stored in your freezer for example. Whole grains are also important to have in the pantry. Vegetables like carrots, brussels sprouts, cabbage or celery are important as well, because you can prepare excellent soups and it won't dry up your wallet either. Another cheap option is pasta, which comes in different shapes and sizes and can also be gluten free or vegan as well. There are infinite recipes starting from Italian to Asian cuisines. Lastly, some other options that could come handy when staying inside, crackers, rice cakes, some baking supplies, different nuts, like almonds or walnuts and even nut butters. Shelf-stable milk should not be forgotten either and if you like coffee or tea, make sure to have these last you for a longer time. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe.